And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 65 kilogram Japan tournament. Yoyogi National Gymnasium, in the second gymnasium. We have the tournament final here for you. In the red corner, Hideaki Yamazaki taking on in the blue. Masaki Noidi. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Okay, into the breakdown. So Yamazaki, the taller person by two centimeters at 177, and the older person at 29. That's a seven year age difference. But uh, but I don't think it's gonna make any difference here. I'm really excited about this fight, Brian. Really oh, excited. Yeah, this is yeah. a phenomenal final for this tournament. Uh, stylistically too. Once again, so interesting. You know, Yamazaki with his huge power and physical abilities, and Noidi, who just doesn't take a step back, uh, and yeah, it's just surgical, just like the, the, you know, the monster dentist you never want to uh, visit, the Hannibal Lecter of the ring. The Hannibal of the ring, I like it, I love it. Well, let's see if uh, Yamazaki's golden fist can fell the monster. Let's see. I do believe this is a rematch, isn't it? Uh, yes, so these guys have actually met uh, six or seven months ago before it went to an extension round However, Yamazaki lost some points, so he's got something to prove You know what I like to say now, Brian? Is, is it repeat all of them? Yes, yes, and this is for all the marbles because this is the final of the tournament They both fought twice to get to this point and both looked really good Really good. You can see here a bit of a slower first round um, Yamazaki not as mobile as he was in previous fights. He needs to stay away from those reps. He is revolving. He is he is using his footwork, but he needs to be a bit more snappy with Noiri, honing in on him. Well, both yeah, both guys you know are having tough journeys to get here as well. Their second semi-final match is not easy at all. Both guys kind of having to tough it out. Um, so we'll see how much they both have left in the tank. I love the way Noiri just stalks. It doesn't matter who you are. It could be a polar bear. He's going to stalk you. Yeah, it's he's, man, he just just like a uh, you know, man, serial killer from some horror film. <laughs> yeah, the, your worst nightmare, death by in the phone booth by Masaki Noidi. <laughs> I think he's got a career after this in the movies. Yes. I mean, look at that sinister face, that expression of his. Right now, not too much happening, not too much happening. Yamazaki's picked up the pace a little bit and he's making sure he's staying off those ropes, which I'm glad to see. Yep, he's certainly doing a good job. Noidi so patient and he just needs to make sure that he doesn't take too much of the round off. But he, the thing too is that Noidi likes to do a lot of blocking um, and guard work. Yamazaki's got so much power that he needs to be careful he just doesn't absorb too much punishment through the guard. Absolutely, and the thing I've seen twice now is Yamazaki chucking shots upstairs, but it's just to lift Noiri's guard, and he just brings down a left to the body of Noiri. He's liver hunting. I love yeah. it. Here in round one, I love it. Yep. You know, they're both they're doing good work. It's not super active. They're actually both great kickers with the lead leg. Mm, Noiri can, can kick you anywhere at the closest distance. He's, he's phenomenal with his kick. Yamazaki just tearing off a little bit more here. Yeah, you can see how good he is with the jab. Ooh, oh, kick. That's significant stuff in the last 10 seconds. Really? He really knows it. Yes, and that's going to make him mad. Oh, he's not going to like ending the round like that. His face. Now, if he gets emotional, that could be to Yamazaki's benefit. And if he if no, he's going to get emotional, he's going to be here and now. You know, he's gone through many wars. He's here in the first round. He probably felt it was a 50 50, and then Yamazaki pulled that at the end, which is very eye catching. Yeah, that hook kick, beautiful Kakegeri. The thing with uh, Yamazaki, too, is he's so good at uh, adapting his style. You know, when he needs to get a little bit dirty, to pull the head down, or, you know, rub his forearm in your face. When he needs to circle and be on the outside, he will. When he needs to pull out a technique that just hardly anybody uses, like that hook kick, he will. He can do it all, and he's just got incredible physical attributes. Yeah, he's taken every course and got every certificate, even the one in his dark arts, shall we say. <laughs> That's right, man. He's uh, the wizard. The wizard. And he's ready. He is ready. And he knows the judges seeing that last round likely in his favor. No, really, right now, look at a face on him. He's like, right, you landed that on me in the last 10 seconds. 
Right. Fine. And then once again, I mean, we're in the final of the tournament. The only thing cleaner than Yamazaki's technique is the haircut, man. It's yeah, still one I, I keep saying every time I watch him, I want to know what he uses. <laughs> right, next time you see him, can you ask Gorilla him Gorilla glue? Gorilla yeah. glue. I don't know, man. <laughs> Great jab to hook and roll out there, landing and then getting right out of the way. Especially away from the lead leg, Noida's been using it a lot in this tournament, and Yamazaki just got right away from it. Yeah, he's just revolving away from it. It's good to see Noida's, look, he's clearly up the pace a little bit. He's close mm. distance, he's getting a bit mean now, he's got a bit of needle. Beautiful, beautiful low kicks here from Noida. But Yamazaki responds with a nice combo using some uppercuts. Creative block there from Noida, just lifting the leg, catching yeah. both those knees. Kind of on his on his thigh there. Interesting. I don't think that's something you ever train for. No, no, it just happens. <laughs> Add that to the highlight reel. I love the way Yamazaki just shifts to his left and he just he just lands a hook on it as he does it. I love that. He just uses his weight and pivots on it. Yep, so good at moving. He's got such a devastating jab and he can use that to just move himself around the ring, put himself in the position that he likes, and then boom, out with the check hook. Now he is proof he can walk Yamazaki into a corner. But he's not done much with it yet. Yeah, he can't keep him there, which is, you know, speaks a lot to Yamazaki's ability. Noida can just pretty much walk anyone down. Absolutely. And uh, Noida, he's got to start feeling the pressure now. What are we, almost halfway through round two? Yep. noida has got to put something together now. It's on him. It's yeah, on a him. great series of kicks there at the beginning of the round. Uh, he needs to do more. Mm. He really does. He needs to get back to those fundamentals at least. At least. Look, he's just switching off here. You haven't got time to switch off. Engage, walk him down, keep him pinned. And that's why he can't let Yamazaki walk away with this. Uh, Yamazaki's using jabs and hooks and he's moving. He just looks a little bit more in control. You know Yamazaki's going to peel off to, you know, to his, his left side. You know. And you know he's probably going to chuck the left while he's doing it. He's trying, you know, keep it pinned. He's sat it. Mm. Chuck a big monster body shot as he comes around. No, absolutely. Right. And keep, the, keep those low kicks up, you know, rein them in with some big low kicks. There we go. Look, you're not going to get Yamazaki much more to pull the Come on now, really. Yep. And he's let him out again. Yep. And now Yamazaki's back in the center of the ring. 40 seconds yeah. left. He's going to hook kick down. Not too much effect, but throwing some hooks. Yep. Oh, the big pooch is running on the guard. He's like so much power, you can just see how much he turns into a sunny shot. So much torque. And you know what, even if they are on the guard, you can see the significant mm, look. Two of those right hands got through. Oh no, he was in trouble. He was in trouble. Would he really try and get the kick up there? He got it up there, but there just wasn't any oomph because Yamazaki's punches were just raining down. Yamazaki using some dark arts there, just pushing over his head back. And look, he's just unloading everything. I just don't know anyone that uses the right hook better than Yamazaki. It's just kind of a wild punch, and he smashes it through so effectively. I think no area and no area's corner just have to be happy to make it out of that round. Yes, yes. Because there was 15 seconds on the clock, and he was taking significant blows. The ref stepping in when he did broke up the action, I believe. When you see a guy with so much power like Yamazaki, it's very hard to just block. It's very hard just catch everything on the guard and usually Noidi does a really good job of coming back with counters and shutting down the attack but Yamazaki was just all over he just pulled the trigger and let so many shots go there they overwhelmed overwhelmed Noidi's Noir guard and look look at his face yeah he, he was marked up when he came in here he's more marked up now and it is not looking good no yeah, look at this look at his eyes he's glazed for yeah. sure he's he's not clear he's not clear Yamazaki's gonna put the pedal to the metal here. Look how fresh Yamazaki looks. Yeah, he's breathing good. I mean, yeah, I'm sure he's mouth breathing. Who wouldn't be? But there's no depth on his diet. So he's got plenty of cardio. No, he looks fine. He really is just, his physical attributes are incredible. And once again, I out of place. More importantly, oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Ooh, straight in there. There we go with a kick. I love it. He's getting back to the yes. fundamentals. Yeah, Mazaki's meeting him with a jab. I uh, would have liked to see. Oh, wow. Ooh, I would have liked to see Nui to just stick with this low kick game more in the second round, but maybe he can make it work for him here in the third. You know, I normally see people bring out the spinning techniques when they've got no other, you know, answer for what they're supposed to. Yeah, Mazaki just brings him out. Either. Yes. Well, he just. He seems just really in control. He seems like he's feeling the flow. He seems comfortable. He knows that his power has the edge. 
He really does. He's just pushing Marielli back to get that, that nice long where he's powers really got the bite. Look. And when he keeps pushing, maybe he can switch that up, take the push, move into an uppercut or a knee, some explosive kick. No one really knows he's going to try and push for that. So why isn't he coming back with a shot of his own when Yanazaki is extending his arms? You know, it's trying for over the top in my opinion. Yeah, you know, only good, good question. I think, you know, that, that, that flurry that Nuiti took in the second round has to still be affecting him. He's moving forward well, but uh, those are such powerful shots. Yeah, his legs are on autopilot, but his head doesn't know what he's doing and why he's there. No, exactly. Like, yeah, his his default is just to come forward, which is great. Yamazaki, oh, Yamazaki's sneaking hook through. Oh, he's getting around the back of Nuiti's guard. Nuiti needs to tighten that up or start responding. You know, the one thing right now, the chink in Yamazaki's armor is Nuiti has hurt his lead leg. Yamazaki's shown some damage on that lead leg. And it's shutting down his movement. You can see him grimacing. It's going to shut down his punching game, too. So if Nuiti's going to go, it's got to be Ooh, now. Here we go. I think he heard you, Brian. I think wow. he heard you. He waited for a moment and he capitalized on it, but once again, Yamazaki's away. That mm -hmm. moment of his. And Yamazaki needs to wait about 15 or 20 more seconds, and then he needs to unleash a big barrage. Yeah, I think we're going to see now these, these fellas fighting bursts, and what bursts are going to be. Yes, and it's going to be all about timing, and it's going to be about who can finish with the last shot. Yeah, Yamazaki's still trying with those left around the back of Nori's guard. Nori's adjusted, so Yamazaki's got to start using the right, which he did there, actually. Mm -hmm. Low kicks from Nuiti are pinpoint. Yamazaki needs to just blast on the guard here now. Yep. Open up a little bit. Well, we're into the last 30 seconds here. You know, really he's got to feel the pressure. Mm -hmm. He's got mm -hmm. to respond. Mm -hmm. Shuddering blow there from Nuiti. Great front kick. Mm -hmm. Yamazaki would be well served to just unleash mm -hmm. with the hands at this point. I've never seen Nuiti's face like that. It's the first time I've seen him in a fight and he doesn't seem to be enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what they're stopping to do. Some blood from the cheek? Mm. Looks like he's pointed to the eye. Mm. The doctor's come up to a little look. I can't imagine it affecting things too much here at this point. Oh my gosh, there's so little time left in the fight. The last round of the last fight is time. Yes, yep. No, he can make it through. Yeah, it's a clean cut that one. It would have been a problem if it had happened at another time, but I think it would be okay. 15 seconds. Oh, nice right. He just pinned his head with the left and boom. Yamazaki's leg is roasted, but he just needs to let it go. You can see him missing. Oh, nice head kick from Noidi. Here it is. Here it is. Now, here he's been favoring the kicks and Yamazaki the punches. Pick the poison. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What a good match. Really a close match. Noidi getting, doing great, great work with the low kick and, and hurting Yamazaki. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't see that coming. I really didn't. But he stuck to his fundamentals and said, right, your movement is bothering me. I need to slow you down. Yes. And uh, Yamazaki wasn't as fast after that. I wanted to see him unleash, you know, a, a couple good flurries there at the end to, to lock it in, but it didn't happen. I, you know, this a really close match. Yamazaki did some great work there in the second round with his hands. Good control in the first round. We'll see what the judges have to say. We know there's the one judge oh, who's my been word. a little bit weird. We'll see maybe if he left again. He or she left again for a bathroom break. Yeah, let's see what they say. Judge Toyonaga, 29 tai, 29 doro. ジャッジ勝本。30対28。赤山崎。ジャッジ千葉。29対28。赤山崎。以上判定。Well, you know, if you put a gun to my head, it's who I would have picked. I felt Noiri had more ground to make up in that that last round. And, you know, really, the last 30 seconds, he could have done it. Um, he stuck with his fundamentals, and it was nothing, nothing more exciting than that Yamazaki had that. You know, he just had that work rate, exciting in those, those eye-catching shots. Yep, I mean, if it's, if it's pure damage, Yamazaki had that great um, stanza in the second round. He was clearly hurt to the leg at the end of the third. 
So they're pretty equal as far as damage goes. I feel like Yamazaki just had better control. And he did, he did hurt him with those punches that clearly left a big impact. I mean, it's just razor thin. I would have to go with Yamazaki as well. But so close. What an effort from both guys. What a great fight. It's a fantastic fight. Fantastic fight. I've been looking forward to this one. And it lived up to, to all the hype and all, all my expectations. And then some. I mean, you know, no, really. It was all to fight for. He just, he just didn't pull anything eye-catching together. He didn't, he, he didn't win it, you know. He didn't take it. Yamazaki was there saying, right, I've got to take this, and he's willing to. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's such a beast. He's so strong, so physically gifted, great power in those hands, and, and really, uh, you know, he... He adapts when he needs to. He makes it dirty when he needs to. He moves to the side when he's off the ropes when he needs to. He's busy with his lead hand. He's just, he's such a complete fighter and he's got such a great style. Um, I couldn't be more happy for Yamazaki. So well done. No 82. Such an incredible combat. And it's hard to see him lose. You want to see both these guys win here, but they just had their hats. There can only be one. There can only be one. I mean, oh, here <laughs> え、今日は本当にたくさんのご来場ありがとうございました。え、え、自分自身、え、2回目の今日のこの結果はなかったと思っています。本当に、え、皆様本当に応援ありがとうございました。え、自分自身、え、今日でここで終わりだと、え、思わず、え、その名の通り日本代表決定トーナメント、え、6月の世界トーナメントに向けて、